But long story short, this guy came up on stage and he was credibility from the get go. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from him. I think he does a great business. He didn't listen to us, and because he didn't listen to us, he's profitable. <laughs> the long story short, he came up on stage and he said, Boss, I know what I'm talking about. I spent 15 years in this business. So you kind of tend to believe that, right? I want you to reject that because it's important. Five years. Guys, now we are running a little behind time, so I am going to take some examples of credibility and then we will move on because I think you got the message, right? Is, the, is now the pitch forming in your mind? So, let us just quickly run through, like we are almost midway. Uh, in fact, we are exactly uh, So, you have to start off with something that is simple and then you have to introduce an element that is unexpected and then you have to follow it up with a number that is okay. And then you have to point the finger at yourself and talk about why is the team because otherwise it's just an idea, right? Anybody else can take that idea and run with it. And you've already told me that. Right? So what prevents me, or not me, but somebody else kind of running this idea? And the answer is execution. Because I know this business, because I understand it, because execution is really nuanced, I understand the nuances. I proved that at some level by telling you something unexpected, but I'm proving it again by telling you something uh, that goes back into my competence, right? So let's hear one line on competence. I have I have 20 years of training experience, uh, and my uh, specialization is in education, emergency psychology. Oh, very good. So 20 years of training experience, doing a training business, right? No better. Yeah. I have two years experience in education. We have done a lot of single digits not now. So I tell you a cheat. The cheat is there are three members in your team. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have two. Six years of combined. Yeah. Six nine years. <laughs> Sounds better. My co-founder is ex-educator and fi fine arts graduate. I have 17 years of IT experience and we have 80,000 current user base. Correct? End of story. Forget the fact that we have experience, we have 80,000 users. That, that's like the best credibility there. Traction is the best credibility there. Yes, anybody else? Oh, you didn't think credibility was important. <laughs> you thought PPT is important. I was going to say, uh, we have trained 2,500 uh, professionals, corporate space. That's I need 80,000 No, that's fine. That's it. This is you. Yeah. That's fine. You can make 80,000 right now. Yeah. Right? So that's fine. This is you. You don't need to lie. This is who you are. Anybody else? What do you think about the investor? What is the investor going to do? Anyway, there was a side question saying VC can't take, what does it mean, right? So the non-romantic answer is well and each other. Nothing to do with venture capital. But you know, if it comes for anything, I've been VC since 1974. These guys have a bit of catching up. Anybody else? Yeah, uh, we have six member team. Uh, we have a big ah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the man you have to So, uh, uh, in 9 months, we have sold around uh, 3,596 uh, boxes to schools. So, collaborating to. Was how can you sell around 3,596? Exactly. Exactly. 3,500 boxes to 230 schools. Uh, 230 schools. Yes. Very good. Very good. So, combine those 6 years into 9 years and you will get some double digit number. Unless you freshly graduated from college. Nine months. Nine months. Leave the man here. Yeah. Anybody else? So guys, demonstrating credibility is incredibly important. Incredibly. Right? Because what does the investor want? Many guesses. And these guys put it down. No. He's hoping you'll What he must want is money back. 10x returns. 10x, 100x, 200x, 300x. Yes. 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 Yes.
We all go to sleep at 3 thousand X. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so there is, this does exist. Uh, think about the angel guys who put first money into Ola or housing. Uh, I know the guy who put money into Ola, housing and uh, okay, 300 X on uh, housing. Though, forget. It might have 1000 X on Ola. 10,000 X on Ola. Easy. Easy. So they want return on investment. Right. On multiples. Because it's equity. Correct. Now, what are the risks to return? Anybody guess risks to return? 99% return. No, that's okay. That's anyway. 99% of it will go down. Yeah, that's a given. So, what is the risk to a startup? Quickly. What are the three risks to a startup? I know the form. Option. Okay, what are the three risks from an investor's perspective? Money. The first risk is product risk. Why are PPT bots on there? Product. Now you told me you do this, this, and the X. Where the damn? Where is the? You have anything? Ninety-nine percent of the cases the answer is nothing. So now pass on the whole banana. Nothing but no. Right. So the first risk is product risk. How you mitigate product risk is through a prototype. Saying, look, this is the proof of concept. I've already made it. It works. You give me more money, I make it work nicely. Right? Correct. So if I'm not mistaken, Arun give us your tools. <laughs> exactly what happened, right? Some cashews and some lettuce we ate it. We said, okay, we have five minutes to decide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no due diligence. Right? You can see how that is going. <laughs> okay. So the first risk is product risk. How do you mitigate product risk through a prototype? What is the second risk? Market risk. How do you mitigate market risk? Traction. 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 This magic word. Traction. Okay. Traction. What does it mean? Any customers. Any customers. Customers will pay you through two ways. How will they pay you? Apples and. Two currencies they give you. One is cash. What's the other? Word of mouth. Time. Time. Attention. Right? So if you are in a Twitter kind of business, then there is no reasonable monetizable model. And if you are signing up 10,000 customers a day and they give you attention, that's currency. Or if you are signing up B2B in your case or B2B2C and you are getting money in through the door, that is also fair. So market risk. Third risk. Team. Team. Team risk. Execution. So expand on execution. Execution is the whole thing. You have a product and you have a customer. What the hell else do you need? Distribution risk. This is 99% of the business. The moment you have a business, how do you make it 100x? That's the difference between a... Again, I don't demean any of these brands. I think they're doing very well for themselves. But that's... Distribution is the difference between a Nirma and a Nirma. Both of them manufactured Twitter. One is a local player. The other guy is a 170 country Dutch player. You know how big Netherlands is? Like we would fly over it, it takes you like 3 minutes to fly. <laughs> Literally 3 minutes. Netherlands. Right? Distribution. Most startups have not figured out what to scale and how to scale. But we will come to that later. If you can solve for product and market risk, you will get angel money. Most Clear? Guys, any questions? So what I understand is basically even if you don't have common What you understand is very important. Yes. Even if we might not have the relevant domain experience, but if we are able to generate traction and show the you know product proof. Absolutely. So think about Fani Prasama, the guy who did red bus. I helped him more about bus bus ticket to be the answer, nothing. But he built the largest bus booking engine in the country. Because you have executed, right? Is there a possibility of a profitable, scalable business emerging from this idea? At startup, you only need to prove scale, not profit. Because if you are proving profitability, you have no need for an investor. If you are transaction level profitable, you don't need an investor. Yeah. And if your profit margins are through the roof, because all you are doing is buying and selling pixels, then the boss, you don't need anybody. Right? 
So it's important from a startup perspective for you to prove scalability now and profitability later. Right? Which is the bag that is basically getting passed around to this <laughs> game. <laughs> but yeah, we, these are the rules of the game, so we will play by the rules. <coughs> Clear? So guys, credible is important. Non-negotiable. Clear? And credibility is always important only at because you are talking to another person, you have to talk from here. Right? But talk from here. Think this is who I am. If I was such a big start, I'll be a business, no, then I don't need you. But I'm not. So don't be afraid or don't be less than honest about your short Nothing else. After all that jam, I come to emotion. Why? Why do I come to emotion? Passion. All of us like a good story. We like passionate entrepreneurs. Everybody does. Yeah. Because the going will totally be rough. What you guys read in TechCrunch is survivor bias. Right? If entrepreneurship was truly that romantic and truly that rewarding, 99% of the population would be entrepreneurs. Correct? So I am a damn bad, incidentally. I heard somebody mentioning bad and so I am a damn bad. First, I couldn't get married for the majority of my life because people just would say, no, 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 no. You run a business, no, 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 no. no. Seriously, seriously. You know, I had some prospective, not that I like the bride to be, but I had some prospective bride to be. His father called me up and said, Boss, even if you are in a government job, no, 5,000 bucks, it's okay. I said, boss, 5,000 bucks, my, my office bill gets paid more. So entrepreneurship is not sexy. It's tough. Right? And it's completely unrobotic. Because if it was an easy path to riches, I would be token number one in that life. Clear? So why are people looking for passion? Not the wrong kind of passion. The right kind of passion. Persistence. Great. The ability to weather storms because this is normal. What is abnormal is that you will become a unique. What is normal is 99% of you will go through the ride. So, how do you appeal to somebody else's emotions? Forget your emotions. Passion is something you will show, sir. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Right? But what is the investor looking for? You discuss self interest, right? Broadly, right? They are interested in return on investment. Are you guys clear? Yeah? The so return on investment can only happen through de risking, right? The second thing that you can show them, only some people will react to this is imagination. We discussed this not at length, but I'm coming back to it saying, let them fill in the blanks. You give them a slice of credibility, you give them a slice of <coughs> data. Let them fill in the gaps. Is not imagination and emotion? Of course it is. Somebody that's imaginative is emotional. Is he just doing hard numbers? No. Are there too many numbers? Why are you struggling on the concrete front? Because you have no numbers. And that is true of startups everywhere, right? Because it's a most cases it's an idea or a very small concept or a very small prototype. You don't have many numbers. So it takes a leap of faith both from the entrepreneur as well as the investor end to say yes, this can become a business or it can become a very large business. But whose job is it to create that enthusiasm? So that passion has to come. Saying boss, the market is large, the problem is hard, I am here to solve it and these are our few initial results. This in itself is a great thing. I will not get into transcendence because this is not something that investors at this level buy, right? But uh, just to give you a few examples, uh, Bill Gates is throwing, not throwing, I was wrong word, investing most of his fortune and other word he is investing all of Warren Buffett's fortune into solving. No, it's that right. Warren Buffett said, boss, we are doing it. I was saying, well, he just gave away his entire money. Right? 30 billion dollars here and some 30 billion dollars there, 60 billion dollars dollars <coughs> to solve humanity's problems at scale. So solve for malaria, not solve for the next grocery delivery. <coughs> what do you think? 
could really solve for in many areas, right? This, I don't think, is the kind of idea that you have, even if you do. Uh, if you do have this kind of idea, saying I transcend a business and I'm trying to solve for humanity at scale, then you need a transcendent being. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. Right? But that's because I'm a bottom leader. Right? Clear? So ignore the third one, or unless you have a really impactful idea, then go after the investors who will actually <coughs> buy the idea. Or say, look, okay, this is transcendent. This is not a business model policy. This Impact investing, there is a particular term, right? But use these two. Self-interest, please be this investor. Imagination, let them think the right. Guys, are you clear? Yeah. Okay, let's go to, I told you, it gets easier as it goes on. It's just simple that stuff and concrete that stuff. Yeah. Why do you need to build a story? People like stories. We just like stories. Human beings love stories. You, which is easier, facts are dry. Right? Facts in isolation are very dry. Stories are? Facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. I don't know that. That's a good one. Okay? Facts tell, stories sell. Even a bad actor like... All he knows is this. He's been doing for 20 years now. Even his stories sell. Right? We pay good money, we buy overpriced popcorn, and horribly overpriced water, just to sit in a theatre for 3 hours, how many of you saw Kabali? My simple case. Yeah? We sat there for three hours hoping Radhika will do something. He didn't do anything. He's just too old to do anything. He <laughs> 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 <You> can kill Tamil Nadu for taking it. I agree, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> This is simple paid identity, right? what he's doing at a peripheral level. Okay. Then you get some stories that tickle your imagination. This is typically the kind of stories that you should build. Okay. This is the best story that you can build. Does anybody know who this is? Oja Singh. Right? You know how old he was when he last ran his last marathon? The guy has given up running marathons now, thank God. What, 20? 100 years. 100 years old. Who doesn't get excited or who doesn't get inspired by somebody like this? So, up front, you have to decide what kind of story that you are going to prepare, right? And typically, what should it involve? It should involve the use case. Saying, look, this is the user. This is his problem or her problem. This is our service and this is how their lives are better when they use our solution or use our service. Very simple story. This is the easiest story there is. The easiest way to do this is through the user first. Not to say I am the founder, I have this idea, this is the market. That's all bullshit. That is a collection of facts. Right? But the simplest way to tell a story is just to stream a user's experience. Say, look, let's take the example. All of you are in tech, right? To some level, at some level. So let's take the example of an engineering graduate that is unemployed, right? And blah 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 blah. You can also say your own story. So sometimes the businesses that we start are responses to our own itches. So we end up scratching our own itch, and then we realize, hey, boss, this is a big market. I ended up scratching my own edge. But this is a big market. Right? Correct? So if you but only tell this story if you genuinely mean it. How many of you have itches that you have scratched? So your own itch you've scratched? Yeah? You had this problem? Yes. Yes? yes. So you had a you had a daughter or a son Sorry. and you were paying yeah. obscene amounts of money for uh, standing queues in school. Yeah. And basically one day yeah, from office. Been there, done that was what the teacher followed. <laughs> It's terrible. For all of you that are not parents, you have to waste basically a day of your life. Right? You just have to stand, they make you run here, there, chalan, this, that, stand in line, oh man, thank you. So, you can actually say this. And these are the best stories. Yeah? If you don't have this, 
scratching your own its story, revert to the user story. Saying, look, this is our user. Try to give an actual example of a customer or a user. You train 2,500 people, how many have you trained in this data? One? Huh. In this, you train 2,500? Uh, no. As, as an early startup, I mean, we are taking those people, extending it, and bringing them out of that. So, investors love failed entrepreneurs. Still exists. Huh? Yeah, the other one still exists. That's a bad one. <laughs> 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 that's a very really true. Huh? Is that really true? That is true. What are you doing? Keeping one. Was to to you are making my full time money. Work <laughs> part time for you. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You are part time entrepreneur on somebody else's full time money. Not boat, uh, the fate of the polaris. Anyone, yeah, it's two boats, no, it doesn't matter. She's saying that who mara nahi hai. That's even worse. Sound, sound, word, word. You know what to do with it. You're just sucking up time, effort, and money, not going anywhere. Your father in law is coming around and asking you, Yes, the power. If I do, I pay you. Respect the boss. Guys, clear? Still on story. So, guys, so so I'm just extending this. He was overarching theme of a story. We discussed the character, but the theme. Why can be a challenge? You remember this story, right? The bullshit story of how India was built. Yes, Chakde India, right? Underdog. Underdog story. Underdog. Kidder Kiran Nai, basically. Underdog. Okay. The other is the connector saying, look, marketplace stories are like this. Saying, look, dude, I am not the challenger. I am just saying, boss, all this stuff is there. And somewhere on TechCrunch, I read that this is something called asset like model. <laughs> you don't own anything. So I am also trying the same thing. So this is connector. Basically, I am connecting market placers to consumers. Right? And this, this I really appreciate. Unbelievable. An eight pack. Unbelievable. Saying, look, something like this doesn't exist. I am creating it for the first time. But there are equivalent models either in the US or somebody else has done it in some other geography in some other form. So either I am bringing some amount of innovation to the Indian market. And unfortunately, this works because the investor wants to secure their cash. And like I said, you know, this is very sad. Keep, people keep saying, uh, why copy Western business models? I keep asking them, why not? What is the answer to that question? I'm not saying you cut paste any model. But if something works there, and you think it's going to work here, why not? Living in a very small world, doesn't matter. These, uh, there's no point in being chauvinistic about an idea. Finally, a business is something that solves a hard problem at scale and makes money doing it. So what it does is irrelevant as long as it's clear. <laughs> clear? Guys, any doubts? So can you do a user story please? <coughs> Decide which of these things you are first. It's the meta, meta level. Are you the challenger? Are you the connector? Or are you the creative person? That's the overarching thing, right? And then can you do a user story? From the eyes of the user, or if you scratch your own itch from your in your own words. Ten minutes for this. Since we are in Pangador, now you have to start making Pongal. Pongal means that you should have a story. Right? You should have a user story or your own story. That's what you need to do. But that story needs to have Alex ah, That story needs to have Alex What are the elements? It needs to be simple. Unexpected. Unexpected. So if you are doing a user story, you can't say, did you know? You have to say, you know what? PHD is something, something. What he discovered, or oh, let's use this guy's example, right? So Karthik is a school-going kid's father. 
He suddenly discovers that he doesn't have to pay obnoxious prices for things like uniforms. In turn, he can source them online, right? Now, what do you need to bring in? So unexpected, right? What do you need to bring in after that? <coughs> concrete. What is concrete? Data. So he gets discounts varying from 30 to 45 percent, depending on if he's sourcing uniforms or stationery. Because please build in the details. I'm just giving you the overall picture. Yeah, and he saves time. He doesn't have to waste a day. Boss is a cruel tyrant. Doesn't give him a DSK. Right? Then. Right. So why us? So at this point in time, you take a phone. Either it's your itch that you're scratching, or somebody else is rich that you figured you could scratch. Right? Credibility. Then, emotion. What kind of emotion should you throw in this? I'm just like here for what? Imagination. Imagination could be one. What do you want to throw? What is the what is the emotion that you want to? Let me go back to the emotions like just in case you forget. Imagine the exact use. Yeah. Imagination? Self-interest. Self-interest? Fair enough. So he likes the. So continue the story. He likes purchasing uniforms and then he realizes he can do textbooks, X, Y, Z. All of them at a discount deliver to your door. No more standing in. How many times do parents go to school? I think two times, right? One to collect books and one to collect books. Oh, that's how it matters. That's all. The PDF. You can't get a lot of principal. You can't get a lot of money. So, imagination is something very safe to you, right? Very safe. Or you can use self interest. Say, look, I de risk product, I de risk market. market. Okay. This we discussed, you can take two phones because you are not a selector, right? And are you the challenger, are you the connector or are you the... Startups are not supposed to have business. Well, but they change it to... I would... I don't think, if you have a business so, model, yeah. I so think I, that... Yeah. 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 So if I were sitting in that space, I would look for what depth of thinking is the government in the future. Correct. If you, are, if you are going and you are spending your life, you want to be sure that they know what the details they are spending. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Ah, yes. so I, I, I would also suggest the same thing. I think business plan is like... Okay. Just to pick up on what my yeah. folks have been saying. Even all the nice uh, detailed excels that uh, most pitches include. I ignore, I don't know what others. But to the extent that I pay attention to it, it is to see whether there are not true things. Yeah. So you are looking for concrete, you are not looking for you are not looking for veracity, right? See guys, I you know I don't like Mike Tyson as a personality because he's generally not a great guy. But uh, I really admire somehow boxers who think won't have any intellect. But somehow they come up with the damnedest sayings. So let me give you a gem from like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson had this very famous saying, I think it applies to startups, okay, I'm saying that. So, Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan. That's until you get punched in the mouth. What then you have no plan? Right, so startups are like that. Everybody has these glowing excels. Yeh ho jayega, wo ho jayega. And if you notice all of them will fall home. You know, some cash flow pattern. At least you are doing all that. Make sure your ask is weak, negative, cancel. Open it and take it. But I am saying, so these things just go to dust. So, sorry, my submission. No, it's, it's certainly not uh, Excel sheets and financial plans. It's, it's a plan which says, which is, this is the idea, and now it's going to convert it into a business. Okay. That operating plan, not Excel sheets. Okay. So, I, I assume you guys have that right now. I asked for one data point and everybody to go black. Let's see how the rest of the goes. I think how suitable or attractive is this startup for venture funding? If you have traction, and if you have a so you know somebody I, I don't know who said this. I, I don't have any attitude. But uh, but if you have a you know a big ass market, a kick ass team, and a slick ass product, most you get. 
<laughs> I don't know if I have just There is no formula for getting funded guys, but there is a good chance that typically this is this is like there is no mantra, there is no formula. But is it a big ass market? Yeah, no, like a key cash thing. Now been that done that, bought the t-shirt, maybe I printed the t-shirt, forget bought it, right? We have a slick ass product. Yeah, something that people are just doing. How many of you have seen um, seen this new thing called Prisma? The servers are waiting. I've been trying to get in for like two, three days now. It's just not happening. So that shows traction. Of course, it just could be a flash in the pan. No. How many of you have seen you? <laughs> Got funded for home vision. Can I do it? Yeah, attempt the story. Attempt a full size story. Why not? I'll just finish this last one. So suitability and attractiveness of this startup for venture funding. Uh, is it venture? Because all the guys are startups. Technically, they should be looking at angels, right? Seed. Venture, seed or seed? Seed, yeah. Maybe seed, <laughs> optimistically, but angel for sure, right? So, yeah, seed or angel would be more appropriate. Uh, I think the suitability just boils down to how much integrity you show uh, as a as a right? Because everything else at this point of time is endless. So, typically, angels will take quite some games. Product is not only on the market, like he said, is just glorified, etc. Uh, everything else is nebulous. But the team, you know, you could pivot, the business model could pivot, the product could pivot, just uh, so many things can happen there. You haven't been punched in the face yet. But the question is, will you still be standing when you get punched in the face? And on that note, you should see Sundar. Uh, Salman actually tried to act in that movie. Of course, it didn't work. That's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He was trying throughout the movie. Three hours he was trying to act. It's more than he's done in all his movies. Huh? Hokum to. Black or pure itself. Salman can't have nothing to do with it. Animal commits inside also. <laughs> Yes, sir. Story. So, what what are you using? What theme are you using? Metal theme is what? Imagination. The final one. The creator. The creator. Okay. And and what is the meta theme? Are you are you asking us to imagine something? So it's my life experience. Oh, it's your own niche. Yes. So I have struggled to decide my choices during engineering or my lectures during management. And even in the industry. I find no support from HR and of the health. You just time out. Huh? If you want some empathy from the other guy, you can just toss <coughs> in a question saying, Hasn't it happened to you? Yeah. If the problem is universal enough, it's happened to you. Yeah. So I find that there is no support even with HR to actually help individuals on designing career roles. Uh, I have been a researcher in this area, I've been developing. Um, Do you have any IIT, IIM qualifications? This will be a good time to drop it. Someone <laughs> asked want to. No, no! Drop <laughs> it! So, so I am pursuing my fellowship uh, uh, from IIM Rathno and, uh, uh, and I find that it's possible Did to... Did you pass up from IIM? Yes. Why bold? Bold is a good idea. We are all over there. Why do these things matter? Right? Yes. Yes. See, IIT, IIM, why is it important? Why is Harvard important? Because these are filters. Right? They are tough to get. Right? And that characteristic doesn't change. Right? You need a certain amount of perseverance. And some intelligence showed though, you know, that I buy you, I buy the point saying you don't need any intelligence to get your idea. But you need a bucket load of perseverance. Boss. Cat cannot be cracked easily, right? And uh, J.E. cannot be cracked easily, right? So it requires you to burn midnight oil, put 14 hours, this, that, and And really what happens? When you get in, you might have been the smartest kid in your class. When you get to an IIT and I, you discover everybody else is part of the game. Am I right? More or less, right? No option but to become smart. Mohit Sarsena is, is my uh, bachelor right. at IIT, so he's from in movie. Plus, plus you build networks. Yeah. So that is why investors like this group. Not because of anything else. This is not to say that non IIT, non IIMs will not get funded. But IIT has a significant advantage. Use it. So, so the surprise which I am trying to say is it's possible to predict your satisfaction and deliver in different roles as per uh, analytics based approach in which we have worked. Yes, sir, don't get up. I, I know what you are trying to get to, but these people don't. What you just said, nobody understood. 
Am I right? So it's possible to say how happy you will be on one role and based on I can tell you how happy you will be in a particular job role. or a particular designation yes. just by running a simple test. Yes. Isn't yes. that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So, sir, simplicity. It's about three years back, me and my friend here, we, we had an institute uh, like for training students in classroom session. So, students used to come all the way from Kanji to our course uh, in Chennai. So I used to, uh, they used to come over the weekend, uh, they used to take like, at least one or two hours to take time to come to the chess class and then go back. So they used to miss a lot of classes because their colleges were also quite uh, far from their homes and they had to go to college, come back home, they used to make it to some of our classes. So they asked us whether we can bring it to them, we can bring the courses to Kanji Point. So at the time we, we thought of like, we can't do that. I mean, Jenny was where we are based out of. So then we thought of the other solution that we can do and we pop See, this is unexpected. Yes. Don't miss it. He obviously doesn't have the value. Speaking in a flat voice is not going to help your emotional questions any. But the fact of the matter is, he just stuck on something unexpected, right? You don't expect this to happen. You don't expect the class to come to you. Traditionally, everybody goes to class. I know you, all of you guys are trying to solve for classes coming to people. Right? But this is unexpected. In an offline situation, we started about an offline situation. Yeah. So, uh, actually, he wanted us to bring the classes to him. Uh, so, in particular, I mean, many of the students. So, what we did is uh, we looked at options, I mean, how we can do it, and we looked at platforms on how we can do it online. And we found there are uh, so platforms like GoToMeeting and WebIQ and all, which offer a certain amount of online training, but they don't offer the features that we, we need to take in particular some courses, whether it be IT or CAD in particular. So that's when we decided to make uh, an, a live online tutoring platform where uh, students can come online and keep, uh, learn. And on the other side, just like we were a small institute established, uh, we want to bring established institutes online to give the training. So it's not like uh, it's going to be someone who's new, who's going to start fresh just for online training, some uh, mom or something. No, it's going to be private tutors who are experienced in the field, three years, four years, established private tutors or institutes like Cat Center, Arena. Compress all this to a single word called market use. Yeah, market use. So they come online, they can put their courses on, students can come enroll and go. And the main thing what we are aiming for is live online training. You are too much in the past, right? So this happened. So we had a problem saying look, students from tier 2, tier 3 towns cannot come to service yeah. to actually get the training. It's actually one line sentence, yeah. right? On their request, we decided to take the training to the them. We discovered that existing online tools were not focused on training. They were focused on communication. They were not focused on training. So we built our own tool. But we didn't want to supply the content. So we made a training market. Right? And now you have to lead anything, right? You have to lead it. Saying, look, this is where I am right now. So I have X number of teachers signed up. I have Y number of students signed up. Every day they spend so many hours on, on this platform. These are the results, limited results we are getting and so on and so forth. So, uh, my business partner, co-founder, he has um, two beautiful daughters. One daughter, Where is he? He is uh, right now in Jaipur, Kutkam. So, he, his daughter got a school project, science school project. It was generator. It's very simple, he is PhD in IT. He thought, I'll make it, what's the reason? Got a copper wire, magnet. Very simple. Either you move the coil of copper wire or you move the magnet. Don't get into those details. Yeah. So the time and energy wasted getting the material, started working on it with no work. Then he called me up. I was working with different table children at that time. We were working with similar kind of things. It did not work at my end as well. So he asked around, there were other parents dealing with a generator problem, same night at 8 in the night, because the project was to be submitted next day. Most of them bought it if anybody is from Jaipur, radio market, bana bana khatam. No learning involved, nothing happened. So that's how we came to this, that this needs to be done. And now CC is mandated 
30% of the What is CC? Guys, please do not use an acronym if you have not defined it. So what is CC? Could be ready <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not that. Cost of capital? No. Sorry. So it's like they put more pressure on schools as well as parents and project-based learning. No, but what is CC? Oh, Continuous competency in the past. Yeah. How do you expect me to know that? <laughs> Please define all your acronyms or better still, don't use them in the first place. She said CCE. I am getting on in years. So to my ear it sounded like CC. Chinese. Huh. So this is how we came to the idea that this is the bigger issue. And it's Never say idea. Yeah. <laughs> say business. <laughs> this sounds better. Okay, so that's how we started the venture basically. Yeah. And that today? Today we have designed around 55 kids. Component based, where a child can assemble it with the help of metal sheets and evaluation sheets. And parents don't have to scavenge around and we have a website where you can come by the Hold, hold, hold. Guys, what is the what is the what is like what is the gap between an idea and a business? How do you want to So don't talk about features, talk about revenue upfront, establish the fact that it's a business and then talk about it. So we became live in this April and we have sold more than 100 plus projects at in 4 months at, at what rate? Around 30-40 uh, projects per month At what rate per project? 350 to 400 rupees So how much money are we making? Uh, our current traction is 75,000 rupees in 4 months At what margin? Uh, we have 50% margin These are important So now that you've qualified this as a business you can then talk about the features of the business and you can talk about You understand you have to build a base on which you can tell a story right? You can't tell a story and then build a base Are you clear? So wherever you have numbers and revenue and traction Please put that front and center Because you have already established that And you can back it up And like we discovered If you tell me one thing that is true That can be verified My tendency to believe what you say Immediately succeeding That one particular thing Is kind of true Unless it's right So establish it Done? Anybody else? Boss, just a story, right? And you just have to weave these elements, right? Simplicity. And you have finish it. It's quite simple. And the, there is just one more thing. Keep it short. How much time do you have? How much time are they given to? Oh, sir, this, this thing follows now is an interview with the panel that's for 20 minutes. Oh, so you can extend it. Just. Uh, <laughs> Actually, with cheating, so the panel is also here at the. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. People who apply the principles will come up with a. And that thing, in turn, is a testament to your grit and your perseverance, right? So, if you can apply these principles in the next what? Oh, we are massively ahead of them. In the next one and a half hours, right? 6 o'clock is when the panel starts. No, no, 5 30. 5 30. So, in the next one hour, uh, then, then uh, there are. Uh, Catch me if you can, you have this famous dialogue, right? So there are mice that will drown and there are mice that will swim. That will swim and swim and swim. Leonard the Capital does a better job. Please keep it short, right? Please, uh, so people will always come into a conversation with a bias, don't get defensive about it. So the panel will always have our thought. All of us are subjective in that sense, right? Don't get biased about it. Ask if you can politely. Since you are wrangling for attention in your pitch, just like I did with you guys, and you'll be a good audience in that respect. Even though I see most of the laptops are open, at least I didn't get too many phone calls. Or people select. People don't right? So if your panel gets distracted or if your audience gets distracted, you have lost the currency of attention. Right? Have you noticed that I used humor consistently and it's been it's been what? It's been a long time now. It's been two hours that you guys have been listening to me. Slightly more than that. Two hours and fifteen minutes in another five. Right? The only reason why you guys are listening to me. Hey, yeah, I'd like to think that I'm good looking, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> the fact of that is, if you use humor, right, you also kind of gently tend to keep the story alive. Right? And you make that correct. If people are laughing, then they look at you because you're the source of humor. And it breaks the tedium. So in a 20 minute thing, inject. If you do not have a partial for humor, this is not the time to do your stand-up. <laughs> so if you've never pulled it off, 
and everybody just keeps looking at you after you crack the joke. <laughs> Leave it. Okay. Like I said before, I will say it again. Trickle this whole thing. Trickle. What do I mean by trickling it? Don't front load all the information and give it to people, right? Trickle. Say one thing, say another thing, then ask them a question. Luckily, you have 20 minutes, so I'm guessing this will be a conversation yeah. and a discussion. It won't be a rapid fire, tuck, 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 and get out, right? So you have enough time to build a conversation. Use these simple principles, right? Now you must be scratching, sir, what principles? <laughs> so simple. <laughs> What does it spell? Oh. Yeah. This is an explanation. This is an explanation. <laughs> this is an explanation. You forget everything else, remember this one. Okay? So guys, I'm going to release you early. Actually, my session was supposed to go through till 5. But I realized that you guys have 5.30 or 1 hour to be Okay? Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.